Hi, I'm Roy Murphy. You're watching the BitConnect YouTube channel. Coming up in today's video. Why do I need to lend BitConnect my money? Hello everyone, it's Roy Murphy. Welcome to the BitConnect YouTube channel. So this is a question which crops up all of the time. Um, I've seen this probably in the last week, maybe 10 times. Same question or similarly worded question. Uh, goes along the lines of if BitConnect's trading bot is so good, why don't they just trade themselves uh, without the need for a website and fees and commissions and referrals and mining and paying people interest? And it's a valid question. So let me answer it with another question. What is 1% of nothing? What is 10% of nothing? What is 100% of nothing? The answer is nothing. If you start with nothing, doesn't matter what percentage gains you make, you have to borrow, lend or steal in order to make any gains on it. First of all, don't mistake bot trading as a huge revenue stream for BitConnect. If there wasn't a trading bot, there would be enough money in the system to pay out everyone's interest for at least a decade at the current growth rate. Another typical question I get, I've heard this probably three or four times today, I hear this a lot. How long can BitConnect last for? So the answer to that question very succinctly is indefinitely. I'll go through the reasons why later. And another question I've had today and I've heard a lot is how can BitConnect afford to pay out fees and interest and commission, etc.? How can they afford to do it? Now we've covered that in another video before. And uh, I think the name of the video is uh, How Can BitConnect Afford to Pay Out? Uh, in that video, we covered lots of the numbers and we went through everything in, in fine detail. And it's quite a lengthy video, but it does cover everything. To make that more succinct, um, I think this general question and the way that I've answered this in YouTube, and I wanted to highlight this comment because this comment has just come in. Uh, the comment has just been asked again by Great White Crypto Whale. Um, so let's go through that now. So he or she, I don't know if it's male or female, why does BitConnect need to borrow money to feed the bot? If the bot is such a good money maker, why all the effort to borrow investors' money? And again, it is a valid question. Um, it's had a few answers from other members on the team and it's been quite a hot debate, so I have answered it. So if we go down, we can actually look at a succinct analogy because I was asked, BitConnect, are you able to succinctly clear this up? So here is my answer and it does a lot to, to answer some of these questions. So let's go through my answer. Yes, the value gained with BitConnect architecture is the fact that they can pre-mine their own coin. You buy in Bitcoin, trade in BitConnect coin and hold in dollar value. If you hold dollars, it is devalued by not holding the rising value of BCC. If you trade BCC, you give fees to the platform. You pay fees moving from one coin to another and the 7% staking profits are designed into the coins creation algorithm. So the system pays out of newly created money directly due to the nature of the protocol. Also bear in mind that BitConnect holds 73% of current BCC in circulation, which is subject to a greater proof of stake rate. So a huge amount of money is being generated by the system by the greater staking weight. So they get better returns on the new coin creation, so gain assets faster than everyone using the system. BitConnect has an ever-growing asset class without ever using the Bitcoin as it's holding. Now, 85% of all Bitcoin is still held as an asset which grows in value by the system and a small percentage of this is traded daily via the bot which makes gains on most days. The lenders are gifted some of that back in interest, about 21.6% on average, which incentivizes the user to reinvest, trade and hold. This locks up most of the money in the system whilst the holding assets go up 12,000% per year on average, and that is the average over the last year. I can't think of anything that will produce 3 billion in liquid assets and 9.8 billion in M2 holdings. Okay, so that is at today's value of $250 per BCC coin and $6,700 per BTC respectively. That is a total asset in today's value of $12.8 billion in just one year from zero investment. Can you? 
Okay, so that is my response to that. That kind of gives the shortest analogy of how that works. So if we go to the cryptocurrency market and you look today, okay, we've got a new figure, 251.69. That's a new record for BitConnect. We've now moved up to number seven. If you look at Bitcoin, that has also gone up. New record, 6,758, up 5.18%. Look at the graph, and then let's look at the graph as well for BitConnect. It looks very similar, so you can see every time we cover this in these videos, you can see how the graphs look the same because it shadows, if not beats, on most days, every day, BitConnect trumps the biggest gaining crypto of them all, the king of them all, Bitcoin. Okay, so that is that analogy covered. I hope I've covered it enough. And in other news, don't forget the ICO for ETHConnect opens in 12 hours from now. ETHConnect. There you go. They're having a tough time at the moment trying to keep the amount of people in the system. So it's just under 12 hours and currently they have 193,000 new members ready for the ICO. That happens in uh, just under a, half a day's time. Um, that, I think, is a record for an ICO for people with uh, pre-mined startups. Uh, so that will be interesting. So don't forget that the ICO for ETHConnect opens in 12 hours from now. If you don't want to miss out on this huge opportunity, sign up with the link below uh, to join our team. So don't forget you get all the benefits of the BitConnect team, Team Smurf, where you get unlimited access to all of the news, reviews, tutorials, insights, calculators, apps, statistics, and the new forum. Uh, you get all the live data and graphs, plus you get to join our newsletter and get all the alerts, all of that, plus my undivided attention via Twitter at uh, Dr. Roy Murphy. We can have a look here. This is my personal Twitter page. Um, this isn't anything directly to do with with BitConnect, although uh, all of the videos as I upload them do get in. So if you want instant alerts, don't forget to add Dr. Roy Murphy to your Twitter feed. I'll also be adding Skype um, and you can also directly email me with the link below. If you also notice as well on the YouTube channel, I do respond to every single message. Um, also as well, the direct messages and the YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, you can also add me here. As you can see, I add every single video. So if you want those new uh, reviews, um, don't forget to add me here. Uh, there is also other useful information that uh, goes back for the last 10 years. And uh, if you like that kind of stuff, uh, give me a click. And if you respond there, I will respond back to you. I'm not always at a computer, but I always have my phone with me. So I do get a message. So you've probably got more chance of finding me on Twitter throughout the day, bearing in mind the difference in time zones that we have all around the world on ETHConnect. Um, so if anyone wants to join up again, I've told you about the link below. They are having a few issues with their server. I don't think they expected nearly 200,000 people to be on there, but we will be covering it live. Now they've had some issues with their servers, mainly because of the amount of people on their system. They hadn't done the upgrade, which they were expecting to do to cover the amount of people that would be using it once the system, the trading part of the system is live. I think it's going to be hard to do the live recording that I wanted to do tomorrow. Uh, also as well, uh, because the ICO date has moved forward by two days or moved backwards by two days, I should say, because of server issues and trying to get ready. They had issues with um, trying to move across to the uh, cloud stream, the uh, Ethereum wallets. Um, so that's now been done and they've literally just three hours ago opened those wallets. So if you try and sign up or do anything in ETHConnect right now, you will find that it's very, very sluggish uh, because everyone's trying to pre-load all of their uh, Ethereum onto ETHConnect. So that will be interesting. So I will be recording it, but at the same time tomorrow, I am in a, a meeting. I'm at a meeting at home. I also have the kids and I've also got the school run and I've also got an engineer doing some heating work. So it's going to be so noisy. I'm just going to try and when I can get in, when I can do my uh, my transfer, I will actually do that recording uh, and then put that up as soon as I can on the brand new ETHConnect YouTube channel. But at the moment, you've been watching the BitConnect YouTube channel. I'm Roy Murphy and I will see you in the next video. This video was brought to you by Team Smurf. We bring you new videos each and every day. To join our team, click the referral link below this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and interact with us in the comments box below. BitConnect. Creating wealth for everyone.